Hello, and welcome to the Elagica audio presentation. In the next few minutes, we will discuss how viruses, bacteria, fungi, yeast, and parasites affect human health, and what we can do to protect ourselves from them. This entire project was actually inspired by a phone call I received from my wife when she was visiting her parents several thousand miles away. She told me that our eldest son had suddenly come down with a high fever, sore throat, and swollen glands. She asked me what I thought might be going on. I told her he either had a viral or a bacterial infection, most likely strep throat. She asked if there was any treatment she could get at the health food store as we don't like giving antibiotics in our family except as a last resort. I told her that in my experience there was nothing that really worked well for either viruses or bacteria that could be found in health food stores. There were plenty of products that increased the strength of the immune response to infection, but nothing that really directly attacked the infections themselves. Well, why not get something that would increase the strength of his immune system, she asked. Our son had a fine immune system, I assured her, and the presence of whatever infection he had was certainly already stimulating a very powerful immune response. Taking herbal extracts to increase the activity of his immune system would do nothing, as it was already on high alert churning out antibodies, natural killer cells, white blood cells, and all the assorted immune agents that were appropriate for whatever infection he had. My wife was puzzled. I explained that all the products you find on the shelves of the health food store for colds and the immune system were beneficial to people with weak immune systems to begin with. What our son needed was something that directly attacked the infection itself, not an immune stimulant. If it were a virus, we would simply have to let it run its course, and if it was a bacteria, she would have to decide on whether or not to give our son antibiotics. Well, our son finally got over the infection, but the experience made me determined to create a broad-spectrum antimicrobial. I wanted something that would work regardless of the type of infection. I wanted to create the proverbial one thing that you would take to the deserted island with you. Specifically, I wanted something that went after the infections directly and didn't just stimulate an already stimulated immune system. How could I make such a product? <laughs> there are literally thousands of different types of bacteria and viruses that make people get sick, 